Let's do this one where the guy has your head and your arm. Very typical situation to find yourself in. And there's a little detail that you need to pay attention because without it, it will not work. Now pay attention to this. He has your neck and, and your arm. So basically, I can't move. My frame here won't do much because I don't have the other arm to back it up. And he will eventually hide his head like that. Then I can't even squeeze my arm in. So ideally, look, see this hand that's already there? The last thing that you want to do is try to loosen up just a little bit, Mark. Every time you try to do this, give me uh, that lock on the arm where you pass the leg on top of my arm. Yeah, <laughs> your job. So you don't want this hand fooling around over there. So keep it here. Now this one will come and look, you're gonna hold the bottom one, right? Hold it really squeezing tight. Now I want him here. I am going to bridge and I'm gonna turn sideways, but I'm gonna stick this leg here underneath and look. Now I'm settled. I have him tight, holding him tight and my leg underneath him. Now this leg gives me the big bridge. And I, on the bridge, I turn my the other way. And finish. When you get here, if he insists on holding your neck and you don't do anything about it, he will roll you that way again. So first things first. Put both hands on the floor to stop his movement. Hold on tight here, brother. See, this is the kind of guy that's very stubborn, doesn't know what to do, but he holds your head, so move your head this way. Trap his elbows. Now look, see, get, out, get your head out from the openings. I could try to force myself here. A guy with a strong grip here is not gonna let go. Get his elbow, bring it up to you. Get your head out. It works better.